In this lesson, we're going to talk about the alkaline earth metals. These metals are found in group two, or the second column of the periodic table. They include elements like beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, and radium. Now, as you go down the group, the atomic radius increases. The atoms get bigger in size. The ionization energy decreases as you go down the group. It's easier for the heavier metals to give away their electrons because those outermost electrons, they're so far away from the nucleus and the nucleus doesn't have a, it doesn't hold those outermost electrons as tightly as it would with a smaller atom like beryllium. So barium, for instance, has a higher, I mean, a lower ionization energy than magnesium. It takes less energy to remove an electron from barium than magnesium. Now, as you go down the group, the melting point of the alkaline earth metals, they generally decrease. However, magnesium is an exception. So let's put some numbers to this. So the melting point for beryllium is 1287 degrees Celsius. For calcium, it's 842. For strontium, it's around, it's between 770 and 780. So it's like in this range. For barium, it's 727 degrees Celsius. So notice what's happening. Generally speaking, the melting point is decreasing as you go down. The melting point for magnesium is the lowest of the metals listed here. It's 650. So magnesium is the oddball for some reason. But generally speaking, as you go down the group, the melting point decreases, the ionization energy decreases, but the atomic radius increases. Now, as you go down the group, the alkaline earth metals become more reactive. So the reactivity of these metals increases as you go down the group. So what this means is that, so since calcium is below magnesium, calcium is more reactive than magnesium. And you can look up some YouTube videos on the reactions of alkaline earth metals with water. You'll find that when you put magnesium in water at room temperature, it reacts very slowly with water. So slow that you may not even notice any observable reaction. You might see a few bubbles. Calcium, it reacts faster with water than magnesium. You can observe the reaction. However, alkaline earth metals they're less reactive than alkali metals. Alkali metals like lithium, sodium, potassium, they react vigorously with water. But the alkaline earth metals, they react slower than the alkali metals. So alkaline earth metals are less reactive than alkali metals. But like alkali metals, the reactivity increases as you go down. Because the heavier elements, they can easily give up their electrons compared to the less heavier elements because the ionization energy is less as you go down making it a lot easier to give away the electrons making these metals more reactive with water so when magnesium reacts with water it will create magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen gas so this process is slow at room temperature. However, if you boil the water, let's say if you put magnesium in boiling water, it will react faster. At higher temperatures, the yield of magnesium oxide increases as a product rather than magnesium hydroxide. In fact, if you take magnesium hydroxide and if you apply heat to it, 
you can drive off water from this compound. Water can evaporate directly from magnesium hydroxide upon thermal decomposition. Now the reaction between calcium and water is very similar to what we have here. Calcium can react with liquid water at room temperature to create calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. So that's another gas evolution reaction. When you increase the temperature, you're going to drive the reaction to the right favoring the release of gas in that reaction. Now, alkali metals, because they like to give away electrons, they're reducing agents. They're strong reducing agents. Metals tend to be reducing agents. Nonmetals tend to be oxidizing agents. So oxidizing agents like oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, they like to take electrons, but reducing agents like to give away electrons. Alkali metals are one of the strongest reducing agents. After that comes alkaline earth metals. Now the alkaline earth metals, they, ha they end in the configuration NS2. All of them have two valence electrons. And when they give up those two valence electrons in a chemical reaction, they will form ions with a 2 plus charge. So think of Mg2 plus. Or calcium in its ionic form has a 2 plus charge. The same is true for strontium and barium. So this is all because the, that they have two valence electrons that they want to give away. Now, like other metals, alkaline earth metals, they conduct heat and they conduct electricity. They're malleable. They could be hammered into sheets. They're ductile. They could be pulled into wires which is very typical of other metals. Now magnesium, if you take magnesium and particularly magnesium ribbon, if you take it and burn it in air, it will create magnesium oxide and light. It actually burns pretty brightly. Remember seeing that in a chemistry lab. But that's another interesting property of magnesium. It can produce a lot of light when burned in air. 